What's going on everyone? It is your boy Tech or Rachid and welcome back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news video. So new update just do dropped on Advanced Warfare and this contains the weapon balancing update we have been waiting for as well as tons of changes, two score streaks, a new pause menu being added to Advanced Warfare, early access to a new weapon, OM3, a directed energy LMG as well as shotgun hybrid. I will cover another video on that soon so stay tuned guys but let's get straight into the changes which has taken place due to this new update in Advanced Warfare which dropped yesterday 3rd March of 2015. So let's start off with the thing you guys are interested in weapon balancing updates. So there have been a variety of changes to individual weapons as well as whole weapon classes so let's go through them now as you guys can see on screen I have the patch notes for you guys. Uh, so first off heavy weapons uh, increase player movement speed by 5% so in all heavy weapons there's an increased movement speed uh, corrected scopes on the AE4 I think that's basically when you scope in you scope in in the center exactly MK14 reduced recoil so that's a buff for the MK14 confirmed by Michael Conrad on Twitter as I speculated in my previous video ARX 160 increased magazine size this is another buff to, ASM, uh, to the ARX, really I felt that was really necessary because of the fact that the ARX fires pretty quickly and has a pretty small magazine size as compared to the other ones. Now uh, AMR9 increased damage, decreased time between bursts, this was the burst SMG, wow that is another buff. The SN6 reduced recoil, another buff to the SN6 making it even more stronger. KF5 mid damage range increased which is amazing, Atlas 45 mid, mid damage range increased, max damage range increased, wow that is a buff to the pistol at Atlas 45, I might actually try that out because I really love using pistols in advanced warfare and with this buff I think it makes it even more better and even more fun. PDW increased damage. That is another pistol which is I think a fully automatic pistol if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now shotguns as a whole class, reduce speed while using gung ho, reduce spread, my bad, while using gung ho. So that means your hip fire spread is a bit tighter while using gung ho which is amazing so you can hip fire more accurately with those shotguns. S12, increase fire rate, increase damage, this is gonna make using that gun so much more fun and all get rid of all those frustrating moments in gun game where you just shoot off an entire clip into an enemy and they don't die and they kill you with one shot with say a sniper or e EPM3 or something like that. So the next weapon is EPM3 reduced recoil which is awesome another buff to the LMG department. Links reduced recoil so we're seeing a lot of buffs right now. Now the ASM1 has a slightly reduced initial fire rate. Now that is the ASM1 you guys the buff you guys the nerf you guys have been waiting for the sm1 is now lesser po powerful and probably not going to be as overused but i think it still might be a pretty good gun despite this nerf so slightly reduced initial fire rate that makes it fly fire even more slower as it is the sm1 has a pretty low fire rate and that probably makes it a bit worse so that should be able to balance advanced warfare for the better of course and it might make the game more fun. Now let's move into the score streak update. As you guys can see on screen right now, the sentry gun turrets now die in one melee hit, which is amazing. Uh, decrease the amount of time the player has to hold X to remote uh, to exit a remote control sentry turret. Wow, guys, that was actually a problem which I was facing. I would literally hold X for like three good seconds and still not exit out of the turret. And I, by the time I do that, I end up getting killed, which is really frustrating at times. And I'm glad they fixed that with the score streak updates. Unmodified missile strike missiles now travel faster when boosting by hitting the fire button while coming down, which is awesome. I might actually try to use the missile strike more in my live gameplays for you guys. Um, then we have the Vulcan laser score streak now fires longer, a buff to the Vulcan, which makes the score streak even more stronger in my opinion helping us out to have some more fun with the score streaks. Score streaks in my opinion are really underpowered and 
Advanced Warfare. Th Alright guys, so these were the major changes to Advanced Warfare in the new patch which included the weapon balancing updates as well as the new score streak updates. But there were tons of other updates which fix various map exploits so you can't glitch out of the map as well as exo zombie glitches and one of the most important things in my opinion was the pause menu is being added to advanced warfare in exo zombies so those of you who are going for those higher rounds you don't need to play continuously without pausing and you can pause the game and maybe play the next day to get the higher rounds in exo zombies and i think that was really necessary for zombies because zombies without a pause menu really sucks but now that's been added also changes to broadcaster mode with the coming of core championships which makes the uh, font and the names look better and various other improvements also a probation has been introduced for people who rage quit out of rank play so if you guys didn't know rank play is a competitive playlist in advanced warfare and you cannot join in game so if people quit you're one player down for the rest of the match so probation for a fixed amount of time has been introduced we don't know exactly what also the new master prestiges 15 extra prestiges have been added to the game on xbox one so if you guys are master prestige don't forget to hit that new prestige button so you guys can unlock elite weapons at each new level of the prestige. If you guys have missed that video, I explained the entire mechanism of earning elite weapons in advanced warfare. You guys can check that out. But that was about it. Also guys, supply drops, paid supply drops has been added to advanced warfare. This was a move I've been regretting for a long time, but they have added advanced warfare supply drops, which are basically paid supply drops. I will go into details about this later as well as the new DLC weapon along with gameplay so you guys need to stay tuned to my channel to stay up to date with all the advanced warfare new content uh, news. So I will see you guys in my next video hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys are informed if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button down below it really helps me out I put a lot of effort into my videos covering as much news as I can to keep you guys up to date with the latest advanced warfare news. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm signing out. Peace.